Hey guys, just wanted to uh, do a quick video on hardwood plywood. We just got in some walnut uh, half inch veneer core plywood and just wanted to kind of run through um, just the different types of the cuts of veneers, um, the, the different grades, um, your different cores, and just uh, break down a few things on um, the ins and outs of plywood. So. In the plywood world, one of the reasons that it's so stable is because your your grains are running cross directional. So this is running the length four by eight sheet. Um, the walnut veneer is running the eight foot direction, but then you'll have your substrate, um, which is your other cheaper species of your core, um, is going to be running uh, crossways and alter. They're, they're going to alternate every other layer. Um, one of the unique things about plywood is that there's a lot of different plies. I mean, you can get three ply anywhere up to like 13 ply, I think, uh, just depends on thickness and um, just the overall quality. But all of them, they're always going to be an odd number, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, or 13, you know, it's always going to, it's always going to be an odd number. And that being that you always have to have your faces running the same direction um, otherwise it'll it'll literally turn itself in, into a pretzel um, if i were to take this sheet of plywood and run it through a wide belt sander and basically sand the walnut veneer off that would just it would this thing would just turn literally into a pretzel um, just because those those alternating layers help hold the the plywood into its shape um, and if you have if this walnut face say um, was running horizontally or the the four foot direction it's it's gonna want to it's gonna want to pull and, and cut differently than the back side so it's it's very important that's one of the key things to to walnut one or, or plywood rather why it's so stable is um, you have those alternating grain directions and then they're, they're, they're both, but they're both end up on the same um, grain direction on the outside. This is a, um, a B4 grade. Um, I'm gonna flip this around to show you the other side, but it's, it's similar. Um, Here we have almost an eight inch wide face. Actually, I take that back about a six inch wide face. There's a splice right at the end of the tape there. It's kind of hard to see. They do do such a good job. They're about a six inch wide piece of veneer and they're alternating back and forth throughout the whole sheet. And you get an awesome grain pattern. That just mirrors. It's very similar. It's very similar, but you do get little discrepancies. Obviously, this heart-shaped pattern slowly disappears. And like across here, you just get it an amazing pattern going on a lot of times you see like your your lesser common or or lesser value um hardwood plywoods are what they call rotary cut and basically that's where they will put a log onto the the mill or lathe or i don't know what the technical term is and they just unwind it basically almost like a, a roll of toilet paper and it just peels off but but that gives you a um, a grain. It's a different grain look. Where this, they'll basically, uh, I, I, if I 
understand it correctly, they will put the log onto the shears, or I, I, I need to figure out my terminology a little bit better here, but um, they have a veneer, a veneer knife basically, and it's it's almost like a, uh, a cabbage slicer or cheese grater, you know, just one big knife, and they're just chopping off basically it's a, it's a micro board like you would in a sawmill you know in a sawmill you have a big log and you just start cutting off boards from the outside this is essentially the same principle um but it, it gives you the grain that would look more s similar to a, a a regular board where the rotary cut you're going you're basically unwinding the grain so it, it, it has a look that isn't quite as natural. So this is typically going to be your higher grade is um, what they call a plain slice veneer. And then, and then when they spin it off, um, like that's really common in oak, I believe, and, and uh, some of your other cheaper species. But they do a, a rotary cut. Um, but it just doesn't quite give you the same grain pattern. Um, this just has a lot going on here. I'll, I'll, I'll try and zoom in here, but um, you can just see all the chatoyancy. You kind of get that almost 3D look or, or wavy pattern to it, but it's just running across the whole whole piece, and um, it's it's one of those things that it's just it's unique where you can take one tree and create multiple multiple what would be regular board feet you know the uh, a veneer tree you know you there may be um you know 100 150 board feet in a nice veneer tree and that would give you you know 100 150 board feet of solid lumber which is really i love working with solid lumber um it just it's really nice. Um, you, you, you have more options. You can route something on the edge or if you need to do joinery, um, things of those nature, it can, can help you out. But um, this, uh, this allows you, when you do plywood, it gives you a lot more board feet or square feet of material down the road. So depending on your project, it can be a very cost effective option um, for your project just because plywood in the long run is going to be cheaper than solid you know so this is a four by eight so you have 32 square feet if you're going to buy that in uh, hardwood lumber it's going to be quite a bit more expensive to buy solid wood versus buying you know veneered plywood so um, it's something to think about your next project, you know, and it, it's the same way in, in any species, whether oak, maple, cherry, um, you know, a lot of like the walnut, cherry, um, those two are, are going to be up there, you know, 100, 150 bucks um, for, for a four by eight sheet, um, depending on the species and, and grade and whatnot and, and substrate, you know. Um, you can get this in an MDF core, which is going to be a little bit cheaper. Um, this is a veneer core, probably like birch is what they, they use for the cross, cross, um, layers. But, uh, it, it, it is still in the long run, a cheaper option than, than buying all of this, this hardwood lumber that would equate to the 32 square feet, depending on this is like half inch stuff here. So, um, it's not quite as much, but, but yeah, just depending on your project, um, it can be a very cost effective, uh, option in the long run, but, um, just something to consider when you're buying plywood, no, there, there's, you have, there's going to be a, um, a number and a letter, and those are going to be your two faces. Gonna, a one is going to be your, one of your top grades, I mean, they're gonna have maybe some architectural grades or there, there's other higher grades, but the most common by far is gonna be like an A1. Um, and then it, it goes all the way down to like a D4 um, is going to have, it's going to be a hardwood veneer, um, but you get that low and, and the veneers may not, it may be two different types, but normally like, like a C3 or something, it's gonna be, 
I'm not 100% sure on this, but it, it's probably going to be the, the speed, both the same species on the same side, but you're going to have more defect. Um, this, like I said, this I believe was a B2. So I don't know what, to me, it looks awesome. Um, just mind blowing. So it, it's hard to say what, what caused it to get graded that way, but, um, you have to, there again, check out, make sure, you know, you're not, you know, you may find something that's really cheap, but it may be, like I said, that C3 grade or, or, or something, or, or sometimes they do like a, uh, you know, if you have a one-sided project, they'll do like a B4 or something, you know, it'll have a pretty nice um, veneer on one side, but then the, then, then again, the back side may be a totally different um, type of hardwood. So if, if you have that one-sided project, that can be a great option. You can save a lot of money if you don't need, you know, if that the backside's going up against the wall, nobody's ever going to see it. Um, that's a great way to uh, save a little money there. But, uh, and then you also have your cores. You know, this is a, this is a veneer core, um, which is just made up of alternating layers of thicker veneer. This, this, the walnut veneer is very thin on this. Um, but then it's made up of, of thicker, like probably birch is one of the most um, common cores. But then you're gonna have a combi core, um, which is a mix of, typically it's veneer and um, MDF. A lot of times the MDF is right under your hardwood core. Um, and then you'll have like a veneer core sandwiched in between that. Um, I think a lot of times that's either like a three or five Depend, yeah, um, like your 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 interior core is going to be like three layers. You have MDF, uh, thick thick um, birch or poplar or something core, and then another layer of MDF, another layer of birch, another layer of MDF or something like that. Um, but uh, and then and then you just have your solid MDF, where basically it's just a big sheet of MDF where they would stick hardwood veneer on the outside of that um, MDF is very very stable there's it's just one big sheet um, but it is very stable um, it works great in like paint applications but maybe not um, quite as ideal in in it, it's not quite as nice as maybe like a veneer core or the the combi core where you have the the, the MDF and veneer core um, it also gets very heavy the MDF core is going to be quite a bit heavier than a, a veneer core or even a combi core so um hopefully that helped you guys um when you go to buy hardwood plywood um you know once again there's there's a um more layers isn't always uh necessarily mean higher quality but typically typically a lot of times a higher higher veneer or count is it's it's going to be a little bit better quality um you have your cores you have the veneer core uh, combination core combi core uh or the mdf core and then you have your faces it's it's going to be a letter um and a number are going to be your two two opposing face veneer faces um and that just represents the the grade of veneer but I love walnut. Um, this stuff is just mind blowing. This is going out to a customer, so unfortunately we don't get to build anything with it. But um, you know, it is like I said, it's a great option if you want to save a little bit of money. You obviously don't have to do a glue up, um, but you are there are a few limitations as far as doing like an edge profile or if you need to do joinery or whatever. But like. In cabinets, it's very common to use uh, veneer plywood. You get more into furniture, um, then it becomes a little bit more tricky. You still have options, but um, it's, there's just a few more limitations. But like I said, hopefully uh, this was informative to you. Learn something new to check out next time you go look. Next time you go to the your lumber yard, or um, even like I said, even in a um, a lot of these same things apply to uh, softwood plywood. If you're buying like pine plywood just for an outdoor application or sheeting, you know, where people, um, and, and that's 
same deal. There's a lot of, you go look at it, you will have the alternating um, layers and odd look number of layers. Um, it, it's, it's kind of fascinating uh, just looking at that. But hopefully that helped you out and will help you be more informed next time you go to purchase some hardwood plywood. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you all have a great day.